the Science Sean Millennium Problem Series. In this edition, the Birch and Swinerton Dyer Conjecture. It starts with like things like polynomial functions and elliptic curves. But anyway, that information can be found in this document from the Clay Mathematics Institute. So going back to the Riemann zeta function, it's zeta of s is equal to 1 plus 1 over 2 to the s plus 1 over 3 to the s and so on. Now in the video on the Riemann hypothesis, I used s equals 2 as an example. Well, the reason for that was because it's in actually the smallest whole number value that we can set to the, um, that we can set a value to. The reason I didn't start with one is because it's undefined. If we just get the zeta function in these graphics, we can simply place in one and then, well, yeah, it's undefined. So, the conjecture is that zeta of 1, if it equals 0, then there are an infinite number of solutions. And, if it's not equal to 0, then there are finitely many solutions. Then there will be a way to find all of the solutions. Hey, that was just the end of my series on the Millennium Prize problems. If you would like to see the rest of the videos, then click wherever I put the link.